From chips or crisps to fries and potato pancakes, many cultures have perfected recipes for the fried potato. But what if it was your entire food supply? What if you only ate chips? The most popular brand of chips worldwide is Lay's Classic. This 58-gram snack-sized bag contains 320 calories. In order to get 2,000 calories each day, you would need to eat six and a quarter bags. One positive is you wouldn't get scurvy. Chips have a surprising amount of vitamin C. In fact, due to the dehydration during frying, they actually have more vitamin C per weight than a raw potato. But in some negative news, a bag of chips has 0% of the recommended vitamin A, which can lead to eye infections and even a loss of vision. You'd get 0% vitamin B12, which can cause anemia and fatigue, as well as memory loss and even hallucinations. You would also get negligible amounts of calcium and omega-3 fatty acid, meaning you'd have osteoporosis, poor wound healing, and a weakening immune system. What chips and other fried potato dishes would provide are large amounts of salt, as well as saturated and trans fats. Relying on such a diet would leave you at risk of high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure, as well as heart, kidney, and liver disease. Probably the worst ingredient eating just chips would put into your body is a chemical known as acrylamide. Acrylamide is considered a heat-generated food toxicant and is known to be a mutagen, neurotoxin, and carcinogen. Researchers found that eating three small bags or even handfuls of chips every day for seven days increases acrylamide levels in your body by 46%. And it's been estimated that french fries account for nearly a quarter of all the acrylamide in our diets. Chips are also addictive. In one study, mice were given a diet of either standard mouse food or a diet of chips. An MRI scan revealed that chips activated parts of the brain associated with reward and addiction. Sadly, the addictive nature of chips and the associated frequent chip consumption is linked to increased risk of mortality. A recent study evaluated 4,400 patients aged 45 to 79 over eight years and found that those who ate more fried potatoes were more likely to die. Though there are no studies that investigate an all-chip diet, there is some anecdotal evidence. In May of 2012, a young man went to his doctor complaining about flu-like symptoms. He had gone from being relatively fit to being tired all the time and constantly out of breath. After seeing a specialist, he discovered that he had cirrhosis of the liver, which was surprising because he didn't drink. It turned out that his condition was the result of his diet, which consisted overwhelmingly of McDonald's french fries. This young man eventually developed autoimmune hepatitis due to his eating habits and passed away at the early age of 20. So all in all, chips are a delicious occasional snack, and they should remain that way and never become a main component of your diet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I just wanted to remind you all that our new podcast, Side Note, now has a YouTube channel that you can subscribe and listen to there. So I'm going to put a clickable link over here in one of the description if you want to check that out and follow the podcast. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you next week for another science video.